Even a millionaire may run out of money in retirement in short order, as per this study. Today, I read an article on foxbusiness.com written by Taylor Penley, titled, Retirees with $1 million in savings could run out of money faster in these states, study finds. The author of this article referenced a new study published by personal finance site Go Banking Rates, which revealed that even $1 million in retirement savings won't last long in some states. According to the author, California seniors might face tough times financially after eating through that supply in approximately 12 years, 8 months, and 5 days, thanks to medical and regular living expenses. The estimate came after tallying a series of common annual expenses, $5,387 for groceries, $22,530 for housing, $5,202 for utilities, $6,283 for transportation, and $8,226 for health care, totaling nearly $80,000 per year. The study revealed New Yorker retirees could blow through $1 million in 13 years, 8 months, and 1 day. People in the District of Columbia could blow through the money in 11 years, 10 months, and 25 days, which was similar to Massachusetts. Retirees in Hawaii were in a worse situation. They could blow through their money in nine years, seven months, and 25 days. Here are my thoughts. This is just a study. This isn't going to be the situation for everyone. There are so many variables to consider. How that million dollars is invested is certainly something that needs to be taken into consideration. People also need to take into consideration if they have a partner that they are sharing expenses with. If someone was a high earner during his or her career, there might be more money coming in from Social Security. Or if someone waited to take delayed Social Security, there might be more money coming in. Then there is housing. A big chunk of that budget in the California example went to housing and utilities. I realize housing in California is expensive, but it may be possible to move to a different location in the state to downsize and cut costs. Or someone could move out of California. If you can stomach the winter, you could move to Detroit, Michigan. There are plenty of homes that you could buy for less than $200,000. I saw one pop on the market this evening for $199,000, located at 5968 Grayton Street. It looked decent. I didn't like that the old fireplace appeared to be blocked off, and I didn't like the fact that it had a block foundation instead of a poured foundation, but other than that, it looked decent from the pictures. A couple could sell their California home and use the equity to buy something cheap like this. Their housing costs would be way less than the estimate provided in this article for someone living in California. If it were me, I'd rather do this than risk running out of money at an age where I may not be able to go back to work. That is a very dangerous thing to happen. What would you do at that point, especially if you don't have any family members who can provide free housing or some type of financial support? Isn't it crazy that we are even talking about how someone with a million dollars could run out of money in short order? The iconic million dollars just isn't what it used to be. I think all of you realize that. Inflation has eroded our purchasing power, and that has really gotten extreme in recent years. A friend of mine purchased a new Cadillac Escalade for his wife recently. He paid north of $120,000 for it. I remember back in the year 2000 when you could get a new Escalade for less than $50,000. I actually owned one years ago. It was a really reliable vehicle. I only bought it to take advantage of Section 179. The Escalade weighs more than 6,000 pounds gross vehicle weight. I wanted to depreciate it against my taxable business income. It was also an impressive vehicle to meet clients in back then. The year 2000 really doesn't seem that long ago to me. It's amazing that it was 24 years ago. But think about how much things have gone up in price since then. Less than $50,000 then could buy you a Cadillac Escalade. Now it's $120,000 for some versions of that vehicle. Getting back to the article, there is some relatively good news. The author indicates Texas had more positive numbers at 18 years, 7 months, and 7 days.
Well, that's great that some people in Texas may be able to make $1 million last that long. My question is, will it be long enough? No one knows when he or she might pass away. Some people won't last 18 years after they retire, but there may be some who live far longer than that. I suppose if people run out of money, they can start watching that YouTube channel where the guy is crushing it in Florida, living in his camper as a minimalist. If it were me, I'd rather find ways to save as much money as possible for retirement now, put in place a plan to lower my cost of living during retirement, and know that I have the necessary assets to weather just about any type of financial storm that might blow in. But that's just me. What do I know? I'm just some guy on YouTube recovering from COVID, and I'm not exactly running on all eight cylinders today. While some people may worry about blowing through their $1 million in retirement, there are others who can spend money like that on a whim. I read an article today on Yahoo Entertainment, put out by Cosmopolitan and written by Mahira Bonner, titled, Travis Kelsey Reveals Astronomical Amount He Paid for Taylor Swift's Super Bowl Suite. According to the author, the Chiefs tight end just revealed what he spent on his Super Bowl suite, reportedly telling 49ers George Kittle on an episode of Netflix Receiver their expletive $3 million. Well, my friends, there you go. What do you think about that? I've been to an NFL suite before. I didn't have to spend a penny. A banker that I do some real estate business with invited me. We rode together. We had a special hang tag for his vehicle. We didn't have to stop in lines. We got flagged through to a special parking lot. Then we got to go into a VIP entrance. We went through several security checkpoints with no lines and took an elevator to the suite. There were only a couple of people from the bank there. There were leather sofa chairs and multiple flat screen televisions. There was a spread of food with a woman in charge of it. Then there was a fully stocked bar with a different woman in charge of it. We could watch the game through the floor to ceiling glass windows, or we could open glass doors and go outside to seats that were closed off from everyone on the left and right of us. I can't imagine what it cost the bank to lease that suite. Back on March 25th, I uploaded a video where I traveled to the Indy 500 and went to a turn two private suite. A second floor suite for three years will cost you $337,500, and a third floor suite for three years will cost you $607,500. For a lot of businesses, this is just part of the cost of doing business. They want to entertain clients or customers. Keep in mind, a lot of deals happen outside of the boardroom. Sometimes deals are cut at these types of events between big players. Getting back to the article, I just hope Travis Kelsey is being smart with his money. I know he wants to impress his girlfriend, and she probably has expensive tastes, but he isn't going to be able to play football forever. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Please keep in mind that everything in this video is for entertainment purposes only, and nothing in this video is financial advice or advice of any kind. If you need advice, seek advice from a qualified professional in good standing who puts your interests first and foremost. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel. Please also consider sharing this video with your friends. I want to extend a special thanks to everyone who has subscribed to this channel. I want to also thank all of my channel members. If you would like to become a channel member, there is a link in the description beneath this video. You can read more about the different membership levels. Please also check out some of the great books that I suggest you consider reading in the description below. I've included Amazon affiliate links to these books. As an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. Stay healthy and wealthy. I'll see everyone in the next video.